Hey everyone, it's Amy here and I just upgraded my Intel iMac to Monterey, the latest Mac operating system. And I just wanted to show you how that looks and how it works. And if you're going to upgrade some considerations to make before and after. So here we go. Ready? We are just about to upgrade to Monterey, which just came out recently. I'm going to the Apple menu to System Preferences, and then Software Update. So let's see what we have. Oh, and here it is, Mac OS Monterey, more info. This tells me all about the new changes we're gonna get. And if I just click Upgrade Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Before I do, I wanna double check my backup. Um, you always want to back up before a major update. My Time Machine backup was just backed up about 10 minutes ago. So I'm all set on my backup and now I can click Upgrade. And this is a big download, so be patient. Do this not in the middle of the day when you're busy and just let it run. Mine says about an hour before this download is finished and then we'll see what happens after the download, how long the actual installation takes. So I'll check back here in just about an hour. Or three. All right, the download finished. I'm going to um, select my drive. And then um, I actually had to select the drive. And then there was another process of installation before I got this restart button, so I missed recording that portion, but now um, it's ready to go. And if I just click restart, then we'll see what we get when it comes back. Okay, so here we have it. Um, I don't know how long that download actually took. I let it go all night long. And um, after I pressed the install button, then that part took just about 15 minutes. And then after I press the restart button, that whole process took about another 15 minutes after I got four or five Apple logo screens with the progress bar. We couldn't really tell how long it was going to take until the very end. It gave me a 10 minute countdown. So while the Apple screen is endlessly loading and you may see a completely black screen at times, don't be tempted to turn off or restart the computer. It does take its time and uh, 10 or 15 minutes can seem like forever when you're just sitting there watching it. So you might just walk away, but um, lo and behold, after about 15 minutes of that restarting process, then I was presented with a new login screen with the Monterey background. So this was successful on an Intel iMac. I should note um, this one is um, loaded up with 64 gigabytes of RAM. So it's pretty up to speed on that side of things. Um, so it handled it very, very well. It may take more or less time depending on what type of computer you have and how much storage you have available and a number of other factors. So go ahead and enjoy your upgrade to Monterey and uh, stay tuned for more videos on some of the new features. After you update to Monterey, you may want to visit the App Store and see if you have any app updates as well. Um, I have a couple of updates here. I'm going to choose update all and sometimes, most of the time, this will require your Apple ID password for whichever Apple ID you used when you originally purchased that item. I didn't have to put mine in because I just put it in recently, but um, usually just expect that to happen and then sometimes you have to close them to let the updates happen. After that, you may want to check your applications folder and see if there's anything that has a circle with a line through it, anything that is not compatible anymore with the current operating system. 
and anything that doesn't look like it's compatible you can check for updates for that application or throw it in the trash if it's really old and you don't use it um, so this computer is pretty well up to date and everything on here looks fine and will be running normally um, but if you do have anything like Microsoft Office or the Adobe Creative Cloud then you may want to um, go to those vendors particularly and check for updates. I also have Dropbox here and I think that uh, sometimes you have to download a new version of things like Dropbox or Google Drive or um, Google Chrome. So just look at all your apps and see what you use the most and if you don't want to think about it too hard then you can just wait until you use the app and sometimes you get prompted for those updates. So, um, and Zoom is another big one that does require updates pretty frequently. So um, just make sure to check all of your apps, get everything up to date. And one more thing to check is if you have printers and Wi-Fi, anything that might require another sign in after the update, um, or if you wanna do a test print or a scan to make sure everything's working as expected with your new system, then uh, those are some things to think about. So good luck.